they'd be the first to admit selfish, harmful actions landed them behind bars. An example of the ripple effect of a harmful action. But this class at Lexington Correctional Center is helping them approach life differently. So a sacrifice for somebody else is what, you know, that's what it's about. I can sacrifice to give to somebody else, to help somebody else out because God gave, you know, sacrifice to son for me. These prison fellowship students have spent the last few months gathering donations to buy school supplies and toiletries for Lexington Elementary. You're making tomorrow better. Your $2 investment, this kid can come, he can be the next president that you just have out. You know, just offer $2. I'm dollar here, dollar there, you know. Everybody gave what they could. Collectively, they raised and donated almost $1,000. That is a lot of money for the incarcerated. I believe we've raised more money this year for the schools than we've ever had, so we're excited about being able to give back to the community. Prison Fellowship staff and volunteers had the pleasure of delivering a wagon full of gifts. I absolutely love this part. To a grateful school district this week. That's what it's about. So we just, uh, the group inside wanted to donate these uh, products, these supplies. These kids are are so blessed that you guys have invested in them and it's a lifetime investment, every investment that we make and we appreciate it. It's a lot of headphones. It is a lot of headphones. It's amazing how fast they go through them. <laughs> Headphones for the computer lab, art supplies to explore creativity, a small donation from the heart, unlocking a world of possibilities for children. Oh, absolutely. It's changed their lives because they're able to give back. Uh, that's probably their most uh, important motive. There is no greater joy than putting others before yourself.